Okay. This week we've got building conspiracy, tornado twabo, and a thwang dong. Take it away, Tiffany. Thwang dong. Thwang dong. Thwang dong. Time. Thwang dong 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 dong. Time. Thwang dong. So Tom Hanks's tweet went viral. Tom wow. Hanks's. I love Tom Hanks's. So it says, "You mean this is the forest? scariest building I've ever seen. What the fuck goes on inside?" Hanks. Yeah, Hanks. I love Hanks. <laughs> he was referring to this building here. That does look scary. Wow. That looked oh. like some 1984 shit. Wait, where the fuck do you enter? Like some dungeon shit heaven. Yeah. It's like with uh, the Game of Thrones where the god of many faces lives. Oh yeah. Is that a prison? It looks like a jail. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like death machine. What is that? <laughs> well, Factor. More people had their own ideas of what this building might be. Would you like to read? That is where nightmares are made. <laughs> the National Kafif Center. Kofifi. I'm pretty sure Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen keeps her dragons there. Yep. The Tower of Missing Socks once they leave the dry. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> this has to be a Scientology temple where they perform audits with e-meters and draw up battle plans to fight aliens led by Xenu. It's too long, bro. Mm. Yeah. So those are some responses to this viral tweet. And you guys came up with your own. But someone ended up responding to that tweet saying, Calm down, it's an AT&T building originally used to route our transatlantic comm lines. Entirely full of telecom equipment. Only one to two dozen techs and engineers work there doing boring things like maintaining video feeds for broadcasters filming live events. Oh, I like oh. all the other guests. So it's like storage. It's just a bunch of servers stacked all the way up, only 12 people. You don't need no windows or anything like that. Yeah, pretty much. I see. I like Hanks though. <laughs> his, sign, his sign off, Hanks. Is it a stone building? Stone? <laughs> it's a stone building. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but I know that it's in Lower Manhattan and it was completed in 1974. <laughs> How come we look so disgusted? It just looks <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> but if it's made out of stone, it looks pretty solid. I don't know. It's just certain buildings give me bad vibes, and that one is like the ugly guy in the group. Aww. <laughs> Okay. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Is it the stone building? I mean, it's a beautiful yeah. building. It just looks a little freaking dicky. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a prison. But See? Not, though. Nothing positive. They, you, you know what they need to do? They need to hire one of those advertising, advertisement muralist peoples to come up and paint up some oh. fucking, like, something on the side. SpongeBob SquarePants. Make it fun, you know? Like, do something different. Considering how grumpy I am now at my young age, when I get older, I'm probably gonna build a house like that that just screams, get the fuck away from me. What about your kids? Uh, I don't well, know. You want a house? You want a house with no windows? I don't know, I gotta think about that you part. I love windows. No I think it's one of those times where she windows. talked faster than she thought. Yeah. Uh, I think the goal was to keep people away from me. Yeah, but now you have that no windows. <laughs> No, she can have an open room. Yeah, the like whole time. Room. You see, my girl tip got my yeah, back. Yeah, but if it's eight stories tall, it's still be dark as fuck. It's gonna be seven stories and be dark. You don't know. We have the vision. <laughs> you guys don't get it. It's no, not. not you it's not your yourself. fault. No, not you though. I like You're you. You're mean to me when I'm no. never mean to uh, you. Oh no, I like you. That one over there, not so much. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I'm your favorite. This one's the night. <laughs> this is all terrible. Let's continue this article. <laughs> There's no such thing as mean. I had a house without windows and it fucking sucked. Remember that place uh, in K-Town that I lived in? That oh, bottom yeah, part? That place is that depressing. Dark as fuck, man. So when were you guys did the ice cream skit? Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it was a nice was place. Sad. Like, it just had, like, the, the rooms were dope and everything, but it was so dark. I would wake up in depression every day. <laughs> it was pretty sad. It's like, whenever you wake up, it doesn't matter. It's dark in there. So it's like, good morning. How can you tell? Can't tell at yeah, all. That's I true. The, the house that we lived in previously, because it was a duplex, so half of the whole house didn't have any windows, so yeah. it was only the other half, and then that half 
of the house never really got the sun, so it was the same thing. Yeah. It was now this house depressing. that I have right now, too much fucking sunlight everywhere. <laughs> like, I can't. I'm like, oh my god, I can't sleep now. <laughs> but it's great. I'd rather have more sunlight than not. It makes it feel like a home. Me too. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Wait, wait, what wait. the fuck? <laughs> Look up and he has fucking banana. So random. He's running away with his bananas. He's on his banana phone. <laughs> banana phone. It feels pretty comfortable. It's nice and cold. You should travel with that. I know, huh? I should go. It's like a neck pillow on the plane. Dude, can you? Do they have something where you could like? I want to get the thing where you inflate in the plane and then you lean on it to sleep on it. I fucking oh. I thought you bought that. He's been talking about this for the past five years. Yeah. He eventually got a fucking beach ball and then he inflated it on the plane and then they think they told you, sir, you can't have that. Right? <laughs> Was it me? Yes, you told me. Remember that? That's right. They're like, he's like, <sighs> and they're like. That's right. That's why I don't do it. That's fucking right. They, like, they're like, sir, you can't have that on the plane. Oh, you know what it is? It's because you're supposed to have things under your seat or whatever. You're not supposed to have anything there. But that's fucking right. I forgot about that. For our next story, there is this tweet that went viral as well. And it looks like this. Was it Hanks? Ooh. No. Oh, I don't care. So it's captioned oh. by... There's a guy mowing a lawn. My beast mowing the lawn with the breeze in his hair. <laughs> That's dope. This took place in Canada. They got tornadoes in Canada? Mm -hmm. I thought that was an Oklahoma thing. Yeah. No, <laughs> Alberta. Damn, tornadoes all up in the middle of the motherfucking. Who's so casual about that shit? He's got shit to do, okay? Life moves on. Just because it's a tornado doesn't mean you stop. He's not even dressed for the tornado either. He's dressed for the summer. He don't give no fuck. Like he's wearing <laughs> shorts and a t-shirt. That is not tornado clothes. I'm almost 100% sure. He's blind. <laughs> yeah, a bl blind guy more than one. His lawn it must be fucked up. <laughs> I know. Baby, I'm done. <laughs> Good job, honey. <laughs> yeah, there's no plans anymore. Not photoshopped at all. This is real life. And so apparently, what the wife was saying is that she went to go take a nap, and when she woke up, she noticed that there was this tornado happening, and that her husband was mowing the lawn for some so reason. So instead of telling him, she took a picture. I would do the same thing, babe. Look no, at that no. fucking picture. <laughs> No, so apparently, like, uh, their kid ran inside and, like, told her, like, hey, dad won't come in, there's a, this tornado. So then she goes outside, she's like, what? But yes, they're saying that in the photo, it looks really close, but in real life, it was really far away, and the tornado was actually moving away from them. Oh. Yeah, and that there were a lot of people in their backyards taking photos, but this this guy who was just like, well, I'm keeping my eye on it, is what he was saying about the tornado. With God, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks like it's coming to him. Yeah. That's a beautiful photo, though. It is. Beautiful. It's disastrous. I'll look at that like beauty. That shit scares the fuck out of me. I mean, it scares me, but Mother Nature's beautiful. Though. That's the beauty part of Mother Nature to you? No, I just think all Whoa, nature. Oh, look at that earthquake where somebody fell in. It's awesome. <laughs> it's beautiful when no one gets hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Like a volcano. Wow, look at the volcano. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then on the other And then side. someone's burning. <laughs> no, that's not the beautiful. That's part. not beautiful anymore. Mm -mm. Nature can turn on you. Oh, Mother Earth is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, so here are a couple of reactions to or like, you know, they they made it into a meme. They were like, "Did you do your chores yet?" "No. I'll cut off your phone." <laughs> They're starting to do the chores. Next one, <laughs> accurate representation of what adulthood looks like. Uh, where you don't give a fuck about anything? There's always shit happening, but you just gotta move on. Oh, uh, I don't do that. If there's a tornado, I'm like, fuck it, man. Weeds can grow. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. There's a fucking tornado. <laughs> How often do they get tornadoes? They must get it a lot where they don't care. Because for us, if it sprinkles, people freak the fuck out and they have umbrellas and raincoats and Ugg boots come out and it's just like little sprinkles. My favorite outfit in California is yes. the short shorts with the sweater and the Ugg boots. And the scarf, don't and forget the oh, scarf. I don't know why you need a fucking scarf in LA, but all right there. <laughs> I know, I own so many that I can never wear. Well, you, you're you cold all the time That's for no true. goddamn reason. That's true, I get cold yeah. all the time. They're like, oh God, it's so cold, it's 60 degrees. <laughs> but then I always forget about my scarves. And then I'm out in the cold and I'm like, dang it. I, I think it's cause scarves. like scarves look, look, they look cute for a girl, you know? But, so you guys sacrifice the discomfort for the cuteness. I hate scarves. Makes me smell. What? <laughs> what? No, I'm sure it's not the scarf that makes you no, smell. No, because it makes me all sweaty and shit, so I'm like sweating the fuck out of the scarf, and then when I take it off, it smells all musty. That's because we don't need a scarf here, man. Like, it's way too hot. That's why I never had a scarf my whole life. It just, 
I hate them. Sacramento, we have scarves, but it was cold there, that's why. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, it's not the scarf that makes you sweat. <laughs> For our last story, we have this Tai Chi master. Got his ass kicked again? No. <laughs> Damn, what's up with all these Chinese Kung Fu masters getting their asses beat? Well, what happened? He's 39? That's a young Tai Chi master. Yeah, so what he did is he- You gotta be at least 60 to be a master. I know. That's the prerequisite. Oh my god, he pulled something with his nut sacks. I knew it! Ugh. Close! With his That's a Qigong wiener. master. They're oh. different. He pulled it with his wiener? With his wiener. Oh! Yeah, nutsack is Qigong. Yeah. Penis is Kung Fu. <laughs> That's right. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. yeah, so he pulled a five ton military helicopter. With his fucking dick? With his dick. How come you don't do that? I do. Dude, that's that's even hard to just do with your hands. I mean, did he like, did, it didn't tear? The tensile strength on his penis is amazing. Like, I can't even pull that yeah. with my arms. Yeah, yeah he's like, is it even hard to move, like pull it with your arms? How the yeah. fuck can you do it with your dick? Well, you guys will see, I'll show you a video. Oh, we got a wow. video? Oh, what the video? Oh my God. Oh. He's got his dick out like, look, I'm not even joking. <laughs> yep, here we go. Oh. Why? Why? Why even work clothes at that fucking point? Just be naked, That's bro. That's his uniform. He's representing. Get a color perfect. Color. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's on wheels. Did they have like the Guinness World <gasps> Records there or something? So it wasn't Guinness. It was another wow thing. Sing Tao. Oh my god. You guys notice how there's only eight people that give a fuck about this? <laughs> <laughs> Usually it'd be like a stadium, but there's like eight people. <laughs> and three of them no. just pass by. Is that his dick hanging out of there? Yeah, it's his dick. Yeah. They're gonna fuck. <laughs> she is not impressed. Look at her fucking face. She's like, I fucking hate my job. No, she's Look like, at her I, face. Wanna, I wanna lick it. Look at her, her face. Her face is, I wanna lick it. Look. It's like, I'm so horny for no. the Kung Pao dick. I can't believe I fucking quit college for this shit. She <laughs> looks like she fucks with like ropes and spikes and shit. <laughs> she got like one of that like fucking weird Russian like dominatrix face. Mm -hmm. She is disappointed. Later, I will suck your caviar out of your straw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the judges, they were from World Record Certification Limited, which is... What no, the fuck is that? That sounds no like some fucking whack-ass Guinness. There's no association for that? No one knows who they are. Yeah, That's. But... <laughs> I could have made one up for him. Yeah, but he ended up winning the certificate for the world record of the furthest distance for a plane to be dragged with penis. I like the epic music. It's not even like a plaque I want on my wall though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want people walking and say, what's that, what's that plaque for? You know, I post it with my dick. Like, what the fuck, dude? Really? That's a true dick measuring contest though. Oh, that's right. Yeah. How come there's no movies on stuff like this? You know how there's like It Man, where he's like the best kung fu guy, right? They should. There's people that are challenging him, like people challenging five schools in the neighborhood. How come there's not that one secret dick puller, and then there's a new dick puller on the block that's challenging the other three to four dick pullers? Because I'm almost 100% sure I would not want to watch a movie. <laughs> I <laughs> do? I would watch it. You want to watch a man's dick for two hours? He does. Yeah, and then, and then they bring in history, like the Japan occupying China, and then at the end, you have this final dick pulling contest between a Chinese and a Japanese guy, I'd watch it. Oh, you think your foreskin is stronger than my foreskin? <laughs> like that? Did he pull with his foreskin? What did he pull with? Pull I'm not sure, but... He's pulling cars with his dick too? Wow. Really? Yeah, he had previously already uh, done this feat. Is that two cars? Seven. Seven. Oh, dad! I can't even pull seven cars with my arms. Seven out. Dude, straight up. I hope it's on neutral and shit. That's gross. <laughs> he's that oh. he's that little kid in the playground that just sits around just pulling his dick all day. <laughs> <laughs> you know that fucking weirdo kid? That's yeah. him. He just never grew up out of it. Well, for the seven cars, he was using his testicles. Oh his God, bro, man. I mean, I I don't understand martial artists that only train the dick. Like, what are you f training for? Like, like what about the elbow the and the knee? Like, there's so many other things that I'm you pretty sure, like, when he fights somebody, he just always has to, like, direct his crotch towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he hasn't felt good sex. I'm pretty sure he doesn't feel anything. Exactly. <laughs> or he might give really good sex, because he can withstand anything. What if he never comes, and a girl just, wow, I like it, you're like a human dildo. Oh, I feel bad for the dude. He should come, too. <laughs> You're so giving. <laughs> the giver. 
<laughs> Julia the Giver. Yeah, there was this other master that pulled no! a bus with his penis. Dude, this is a real thing, bro. They should have a fucking real, like, dick measuring. Why battle. do Asian people feel the fucking need to do this? Because they're I, not basic. I, hey, I hey, 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 they're, they're not Asian. They're Kung Fu masters in China. Uh, in China, China is a is the source of culture. Yeah. So we have to start new things all the time. Because they're next level thinkers, you know? Over here, it's like kicking and punching. They just don't have shit they're to like, do. No, it's because like, so they look at bodybuilding as too basic. They already yeah. been done. IG, fuck that. I'm gonna pull, never, I'm gonna pull shit with my seen, testicles on IG. I've never seen Asians smash it at bodybuilding. They don't need to, it's too basic. Yeah. Yep. Everybody could do that, but how many people can pull things with their penis? Yeah. No one. Nobody yeah. but tiny oh. people. Nobody. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that shit's insane. Sorry. It is insane. Well, That's what's so cool. Do you think about it though, in a fight, you kick you kick them in the balls, they're not gonna flinch. This is what I was talking Any about. Any MMA fighter, you kick them in the balls, they're gonna die. But your basic skills of survival uh, does not include getting kicked in the balls and not feeling it. What are you talking about? No. That's one of the first things people do on a street fight, is they try to kick you in the balls. I got kicked in the balls multiple times. <laughs> you couldn't even say that with a straight face. What do you mean? You got kicked in the balls once. No, multiple times. Why? I don't know, people are weird. <laughs> That's life, bitch. <laughs> That's what happens. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching. We are going to regularly start posting content on the JK Films Instagram, so make sure you follow us there. In the last video, click over here.